this video shows seven secrets no Swiss private banker will tell you. The following information is important to protect your money. Before you choose a good Swiss bank, before you choose to work with an experienced senior private banker, you must know the seven secrets. The secret information I'm giving to you now, due to my position as an insider of the Swiss private banking industry, is very, very important for you. It can make the difference between protecting your life savings or losing everything overnight. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hi, my name is Enzo Caputo with SwissBankingLawyers.com. I'm speaking to you from Paradeplatz in Zurich. In a financial unstable world with unpredictable governments and continuously changing banking regulations, the choice of a good bank and the right banker is crucial to protect your assets. The seven secrets I'm going to show you are unique insider information. I have been on the payroll of UBS and other Swiss banks for decades. My information is not book, seminar or internet knowledge or general advice. I give you actual insider information. Secret number one. The final goal of a Swiss banker is to collect all of your money. Under the excuse of combating money laundering and due diligence requirements imposed by the regulators, he wants to know how much money you have and where you have your money stashed. The Swiss banker wants to collect all of your money. His final goal is that he wants to manage everything you have. This is a cluster risk. Be careful. If you have substantial assets, you should diversify the risks with different banks and have more than one bank account. You can compare the fees among multiple banks and you can diversify your risks. You can better negotiate the banking fees and charges. Everything is negotiable. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Secret number two. Your Swiss banker acts as a relationship manager and not as a portfolio manager. He is not authorized to give you financial advice. Your banker or relationship manager and your portfolio manager are not equal. Often the relationship manager is overworked, underpaid, undertrained and underqualified to give you financial advice. Swiss banks are reducing costs by reducing staff and hiring less qualified employees. Before taking the financial advice of your Swiss banker seriously, ask and check his education and his qualifications or call me immediately. I will find out if your banker is qualified. We always introduce our clients to qualified senior private bankers working with one of the right bank of more than 200 Swiss banks. Secret number three, banking fees are not carved in stone. Everything is negotiable. If your banker shows up with a list of fees and charges, ask him to offer you better terms and conditions. It never hurts to ask. If you have different bank relationship, you can compare the terms and conditions. If your assets are substantial, you should hire somebody informed on the terms and conditions of all private banks in Switzerland. Choosing the right bank among more than 200 banks is not an easy task. Who has the overview on the Swiss private banking industry can easily identify the right bank. Secret number four. Most Swiss bankers are product, product pushers. Swiss banks have internal recommendation lists with bank internal products. Often the private banker is instructed to promote a specific investment. A product listed on the recommendation list is not a guarantee for a safe investment. If your banker is a product pusher, he will try to promote bank internal products exclusively. 
He will not propose you the best product in the market. Your banker is in a conflict of interest situation. That's one of the main reasons why many high net worth individuals are entering in agreement with an external asset manager or a multifamily office. They pay the external asset manager or the family office for the best possible advice. In the last years, the number of family offices has increased. Be careful and ask your banker if he is in a conflict of interest situation. If you want the best impartial advice, you have to pay for it. If you are investing hundreds of thousands or even millions, few thousands advisory fees for an impartial advisor is the best investment you can make. Secret number five, be careful if your Swiss bank is selling structured products. Often structured products have hidden fees. Often the pricing of structured product is not transparent. Structured products are high risk investments. Alert, the placement of structured products has a positive impact on the banker's bonus. As a normal client, it's hard to understand how they work and how much they cost. My personal advice, if you are not familiar with structured products, avoid investing in such products. Secret number six, the legal advice of your banker can be inaccurate or even dangerous. Often your banker is in a conflict of interest situation. It's much better to spend money for external legal advice instead to accept a banker's Shut off the hip advice. In the past, many bankers ensured the clients, saying that the Swiss banking secrecy will never die and the black money can remain on the account. Many of my clients were involved in serious problems with the tax authorities at home just because they trusted their bankers for too long time. The bankers were afraid to lose money under management. Secret number seven, the leverage trap with the Lombard loan. The bonus component of the remuneration of the Swiss banker is based on the profit for the bank generated out of the account. In order to generate more fees and more commission for the bank, the banker convinces the client to take a loan the portfolio will be constituted as a pledge to secure the loan. The money of the loan will be invested in more investments. Such a leverage strategy can be very risky. You can lose all of your money in case of high volatility of the portfolio. Don't play with money you don't own. You are gambling with your financial freedom. Let me tell you, a historical fun fact. Around about 20 years ago, many Russian clients invaded the Swiss banks. The banks were drastically understaffed with Russian-speaking personnel. The Swiss banks engaged a lot of underqualified Russian-speaking employees, such as kindergarten teachers, beauticians, and shop assistants. After some basic banking workshops, the new trained private bankers were released to advise the rich Russian investors, according to the bank's directives. You can imagine what kind of financial disasters came out after such consultations. Don't follow blindly the advice of your relationship manager. If you don't feel comfortable with the advice of your Swiss banker, call me immediately on 0041442124404. Let's discuss your case now. Take your second opinion. It's never too early for a good advice, but often too late. Be rich and remain rich. Have a wonderful day.